Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those don't apply to you. Welcome to Make Fall's Time. My name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing a palette declutter. Now the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm out of room for my palettes again and so I was going to do a brutal declutter but now I'm not sure because this is what happens every fucking time, right? So if you're interested in seeing what palettes I keep and what palettes I'm letting go of, there's probably going to be some juicy let goes like I don't know maybe maybe we'll see so if you guys are interested in seeing what I let go of then just hang out Okay, I'm going to start with my P. Louise palettes because they are taking up so much space and they have their own drawer. And honestly, I don't really need to declutter any because they actually have to have their own drawer. But I am going to get rid of the P. Louise's Cancelled palette. I got this so that I could do weddings. But honestly, if I have to do any more weddings, which I would probably only do for friends, um, I... I'm not going to use this palette. It's too bulky and also I have other palettes that kind of meet the mark on that so I'm not going to swatch it or anything. I'm just going to fucking get rid of it. It's too neutral. I'm never going to use it. This is the Love Tapes palette and it actually hurts your arm to lift it but the color story looks like this and it's one of my favorite color stories. It's obviously I love red and pink together so like I'm not going to get rid of it but honestly I, the thought occurs to me to just like take a knife and cut around it and put it somewhere else. So I don't like this packaging because I, I don't reach for this palette because it's so big but I'm not getting rid of it. This is Watch the Queen Conquer and I'm not getting rid of this. The color story looks like this. You guys all know it. You guys all love it. Like everyone loves this fucking palette. It's a total pain in the ass. It's one of my favorites. This is the Secret Sinners, right? Secret Sinners? The Secret Sinners palette and the color story looks like this and honestly like it appeals to me just because it goes like this and it has these like sections but I honestly feel like I could get these looks somewhere else and I rarely reach for this. I haven't probably for a year so I'm getting rid of that. This is the Money Shot palette and the color story looks like this. Every time I reach for this palette I accidentally drop this thing out and I can't ever find it but I'm not letting go of this. It's an amazing palette. And honestly, as a green palette, you can't go wrong. This is the Worldly palette, and I honestly considered getting rid of this. I never use it because it's so big. I love it, but the color story is something I could dupe. Um, this blue right here is phenomenal, but it doesn't really... I have another blue that's way fucking better. It's in the Beauty Bay palette, so I kind of considered getting rid of this, but I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm never going to use it again. I swear to God, I never will. Actually, I'm going to pull out the Love Tahiti palette because honestly, I feel like I can absolutely dupe the shit out of this in like the colors that I love are just that like blue green row. And I honestly feel like I could absolutely dupe it with the, uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm not getting rid of it. Good enough for the guys I date. Okay, so that's all my P. Louise. I'm getting rid of two of them. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. So this is the Creepy Cute palette. The color story looks like this. I'm not getting rid of this. It's the best pastel palette of all time still. This is the Sweet Pinks palette by Juvia's Place. I'm not getting rid of this. I love it. It's one of my favorite pink palettes and one of my favorite pink looks. This is the Witching Hour palette by ColourPop. And honestly... I haven't used it yet. My daughter gave it to me for Christmas two years ago and I was going to use it for Halloween and then I was going to use it for Halloween again and I didn't. I forgot about it so I'm not getting rid of it because it's special to me. This is the Violet Ink palette and honestly I only have three Menagerie palettes left and I'm still not getting rid of this because the shimmers are actually still pretty good. They have a nice little shift. One of them's like a really bright purple to a pink shift and the other one's like a blue to pink shift. And so I still really love those cool tone blues, cool, cool tone blue purples, but I can probably dupe those mattes in other palettes. But since I'm keeping the shimmers, honestly, I really don't do anything with my palettes unless I just give them away. So I thought about pulling the shimmers out and putting them as singles in my single so I might do that but as of right now I'm not getting rid of it. This is the You Beauty palette by Glaminatrix. I'm not getting rid of this. These shimmers are still like they're so good like these are the shimmers in this palette and everybody who knows and loves this palette knows that the shimmers in this are so good. The color story doesn't really 
do that much for me, which is the reason why I rarely use it. But I, I rarely use it because I forget how fucking good these shimmers are. So that's not going anywhere. I'm trying to do this quick. Am I, how am I doing? <laughs> You're like, slow down, slow down. Like that part on Happy Gilmore or whatever, Billy Madison when he's learning Spanish, slow down. This is the Winter Wonderland palette by MBA Cosmetics. And I actually did just get, MBA Cosmetics did a PR search on Instagram and I, I got, picked so I'm super excited to work with them I wanted I told her I I was gonna go after your brand like a while back and then my plans got curtailed so anyways this is an amazing palette the shimmers are so good and honestly the the themes of her you know I went after MBA because the themes matched my aesthetic and kind of the direction that I'm going but honestly look at these That blue on my pinky finger shifts to purple, so something fierce here. Let's see if I can get them. Ooh, these are so good. But yeah, I love this palette. I'm probably gonna be doing a look with it here pretty quickly because it's because winter's coming. I'm trying to get all my everything fall out of the way before I start like going balls deep into winter. This is the Chucky palette by Glam Light. And honestly, you guys know how I feel about Glam Light, but somebody just pointed out to me, I might have even thought about getting rid of this, but somebody just pointed out to me that this black shimmer, your pal since 98, is worth keeping the palette. And that person is absolutely right. This is worth keeping the palette. Also, I want to preface this by saying like, which I didn't preface it by saying, I don't have any palettes, barely, that I don't absolutely love. So everything I get rid of right now is something that I love. I'm considering getting rid of the In the, in the, in, in the Dark palette. Um, I love them both. I love the Into the Night, I think it's called. Um, but I don't think you can get this palette anymore, and I rarely use it. I love the color story, but I'm just going to put this in the maybe pile for now until I pull out the other palette because I think that they go really well together. Um, so, yeah. This is my Adept Cosmetics Arrow Inspired palette. And, dude, the shimmers in this are something to scream about. The color story is amazing. It knocks my socks off. The theme, amazing. Love it can't get enough of it so it's not going anywhere now I considered decluttering my sigil inspired palettes because I just don't use them there isn't a deep enough deepening shade and honestly I don't think I've ever filmed with this I waited so long to get it and then I just never filmed with it but then I like went like this and swatched them and so they're like that dull like kind of what I'm wearing right now, which by the way, I love what I'm wearing right now. But the shimmers have a really cool shift. There's something very cool about these. So I'm not gonna get rid of them yet. I'm just gonna try to use it. Geez, am I gonna get rid of anything? Well, I got rid of those. Like I said, when I started this, there's things that I definitely know for sure I wanna get rid of. And there's things that I definitely know for sure that I am not getting rid of. But then like, there's all these in-between palettes that I'm not quite sure about. So this is the Spaced Out palette. This was in the summer collection, the box, mystery box by Unearthly. And honestly, these palettes are so good. Like the shimmers in these palettes are so fucking good. Look at those shifts. So yeah, that's not going anywhere. Let me see if I can give you a... I'm gonna probably do a shimmer swatch party of the Unearthly Cosmetics like I did with the Notoriously Morbid, but so I'm not gonna like swatch every fucking thing. But honestly, I there, there are no Unearthly palettes that I don't like. So that's just it, period. Okay, this is the Menagerie Cosmetics serenity palette it's so funny somebody just said in my comments who is serenity i have never met her and i was like i don't know i've never met her but anyways this is serenity i'm introducing you um and this is the annette collab with menagerie and i'm not getting rid of this the shimmers are still really good and honestly I just love Annette so much. And I'm going to use this palette. This color right here, it reminds me, it's really reminiscent of the, what was that? The grungy rose or whatever the fuck it was by Give Me Glow that I made me so fucking mad. So that's the shimmers in that palette. I'm not getting rid of this. This is the Feral palette by Menagerie, and this is one of my favorite Menagerie palettes of all time. This pink right here is like so good. You can see it like shifts from like golden copper to pink. It's really pretty. 
Ooh, that color is really pretty. I forgot. I was actually just saying in a video, like I don't remember if that if that shimmer is still as good as I used to think it is. It is. Perish the thought. This is a collection of Sydney Grace shimmer shadows that my friend Tanya sent to me. And I did a video with these, but then I didn't like the content of the video. I liked the look I did, but I didn't like the content. So I didn't upload the video, but I still really like these shadows. They're kind of that dull formula, which I want to get used to more, but ooh, look at this pink right here. So she got me all the pinks and purples, basically literally every pink and purple single shimmer shadow that Sydney Grace has, she sent it to me. And look at the, how pretty those are. They're really nice. So thanks, Tanya. I just keep trying to find a way to do videos using my old shit and it's kind of hard. So Okay, this is the Smoke Show palette and I'm getting rid of this one. I'm never going to use it. If I, I need to get a derivative look, if I need a black shimmer, I mean, honestly, like the shimmers in this are really good. That's the silver. This is that gray silver. This is a good palette. I'm just never going to use it. And if I need to do a black, gray, black, smoky eye, I have a hundred different things that I can use. So, oh, there, we got rid of one finally. This is the Club Nebula palette. I'm definitely not getting rid of this. I love it. It's so good. The shimmers in Kaleidos are really good. Now, have I been fairly disappointed in Kaleidos of late? Absolutely, I have, but I'm not going to get rid of these. I love Kaleidos um, shimmers. Obviously, they're so good. This is the Rose from the Dead palette by Notoriously Morbid. I love this palette. It's so fucking good. Like, that's not going anywhere. This is the Solmon palette by Odin's Eye. I'm not getting rid of this. It's really fucking good. And this was a gift to me from my friend Kirsten. So we're just gonna go like this. Ooh, that. Ooh. This, these swatches aren't that good, but just to give you a little, a little testy poo. Maybe I should start using my arm. This is the Absinthe and Lace palette by Notoriously Morbid, and this is like one of my treasured palettes. It's like super messy and super fragile. I'm not turning it sideways, but this is what the color story looks like, and I'm not swatching it because the shadows are so delicate that like when I put my finger in them, they go like this. So this is a super fragile palette and so worth it. It's such a treat. This is the Sea Bitch palette by Electrum Cosmetics. I love this palette. It is so good. It's not going anywhere. I The shimmers in this palette are fucking unhinged. I checked to see people have been saying a lot, making a lot of comments about the Ensley Rain prices. And I actually went to the Electrum website just to check and see because my friend Tiffany, it's like Tiffany Creates or something like that. I'm sure she's going to see this and be chapped ass that I couldn't remember what her fucking Instagram handle is, but it's because I just know her name. But anyways, um, she posted a look using uh, another palette by Electrum and it was so pretty. And I went and checked and it's a nine pound palette for $75. So it's like, it's an all shimmer multi-chrome palette or whatever. And it feels like nine shadows for $75 is pretty spendy. So like, it's not like, you know, I don't know. NZ Rain, I don't think is that expensive considering the shimmers in the palettes are so good. Okay, this is the Norns palette and I literally consider getting rid of this every single fucking time I do a declutter. Why don't I? Why don't I get rid of it? Oh, it's because of these three fucking blue shadows at the bottom. So stupid. Ooh, that fucking orange right there is. And it's gonna make it through another declutter. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should use it and actually decide if I even fucking like it. I haven't used it. I probably won't use it. I think about decluttering it every single time I do a declutter and I just never do it. Why? I just really want to get rid of some shit. So this is the Elva 2 palette and I don't get rid of this because Christine bought it for me. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Those are the shimmers in it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm not ready yet. I thought I was gonna get rid of that Norns palette. And every single time I just fucking keep it for those three shimmers that I'm never gonna fucking use. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm putting that Norns, Norns palette in the maybe pile. I am seriously not gonna use it. I'm just not. I know I'm not. I know I won't. I love it. I'm not gonna use it. The Alva 2, I might use again. It doesn't matter. It's special to me. It's not as, the shimmer formulas in it are not as good as what the newer, the, the newer Odin's Eye gets, I think the better the shimmers are. I was gonna get rid of the Hala palette and then I took it back and now here we are. <laughs> 
again, I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I think I might be able to use it a little bit better than I was, than I would have been able to before, just because I've been more into greens. This is the Sleepover palette. I love this palette. It's not going anywhere. This color right here is fucking my heart. What are these? Oh, here we go. This is the Perplex. And the color story looks like this. You guys know I love this color story. I'm definitely getting rid of this. I never use it. I never will. Besides, I have a friend who's in another town right now, and I think that she'll probably love it. This is the Envy palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm never going to use it. The shimmers are great. It's a beautiful palette. The color story speaks to my heart, but I'm just never going to use it. This is the Escape Pod palette by Kaleidos Makeup. It's amazing. I'm not getting rid of it. The shimmers in this are fucking to die for. This is the Lemon Limoncello palette and my friend Tanya sent this to me in a package recently and I was going to use it but I'm probably not. She loves it. It's not really my color story and honestly it's probably just a little too light for me and too yellow and I have other things and so this is an unused palette and I'm I'm getting rid of it because I'm not going to use it. I'm never going to find an opportunity to use it. <laughs> this is the Book of Magic palette by Beauty Bay. This isn't going anywhere. I love it so much and I keep saying that I'm going to use the Age of Opulence with it and then never doing it. This is the color story of the Age of Opulence. Okay so I was saying the Age of Opulence. I keep saying that I'm going to be using this with the Book of Magic palette, but I'm not. And honestly, I was going to keep it just for this color right there. But quite frankly, I just went through a bunch of palettes that I was like actually telling you guys about and decided that I'm getting rid of it because I have a bunch of other colors that are replace that color. Okay, so these are my Beauty Bay palettes. This is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte and I actually use this all the time when I'm doing like Halloween looks. It's just kind of a go-to palette for me when I just know that I need like some color that's going to really work really well and I need like this is a basic palette for me that I use for Halloween looks or whatever. That's not going anywhere. This is the Midnight palette. You guys obviously know I'm not getting rid of this. I love this palette so much. This is the Earthy palette and I got this at the same time as I got the Midnight palette and I've never fucking used it. I'm getting rid of it. Okay, these are all my Blend Buddy palettes. This is the Dollhouse palette and I love this palette. It's amazing. I love Blend Bunny. I'm not getting rid of any of my Blend Bunny palettes. The reason why I want to get rid of some of my palettes is because I love like, I, I just love some of my palettes and I love Blend Bunny palettes and honestly if I'm just going to do like a matte to shimmer look, I'm my go-to is going to be like shimmers for Notoriously Morbid and Unearthly and then matte for, you know, whatever, my favorite brands. So this is the Sugar and Grunge palette and I was just having a conversation with somebody who said that Huda and uh, Blend Bunny don't really know what grunge was and I think that the Surge palette was actually the Sugar and Grunge palette but they just uh, already had used all these colors because this palette is super grungy and this is fast becoming one of my favorite palettes. The more I use it, the more I love it. This is the Blends palette. It's not going anywhere. Love it. It's so good. This is the Primal palette. I love it. It's not going anywhere. It's so good. The these are my Made by Metro palettes and honestly I thought about decluttering this. I mean I love this palette so much but am I ever going to use it? Probably not. I'm just probably not going to use it. I think I'm going to get rid of it. This is my Feet on the Ground palette and this is one of my favorite neutral palettes that I have. It's not going anywhere for sure. I'm going to get rid of my Norns palette by the way. This is my Unearthly Cosmetics Capricorn palette and although I love this color story and this is a really rare palette, it, you can't get it anymore, I'm going to get rid of it just because I never reach for it. I fucking love the colors. The quality is amazing but I have it. I have these colors in other palettes that I will use and this just isn't something that I reach for. This is the Forest Heart palette. This this is the collab between Smink Beruenda and Salem Cosmetics. I love this palette. The shimmers are amazing. It's fantastic. These are my four Nomad palettes. This is the Frenchie. Not going anywhere. I love this color story. This is the Royal Europe. The shimmers in this are unhinged. They are fucking crazy. That's not going anywhere. This is the Freezy Flamey palette by Nomad. This isn't going anywhere. And honestly, I just want to tell you guys an inside joke that the Freezy Flamey is actually what I call my, when I was a tweaker, I used to call this one casino game. It's called Fire and Ice and I called it Freezy Flamey and this is actually called Fire and Ice. Yeah, Iceland Fire and Ice. So that's the reason why I call it Freezy Flamey. This is the Har uh, Tokyo Harajuku. That's not going anywhere. Love it. These are my three Jolie Beauty palettes and although I love these, they all have a fantastic fucking duochrome in them that is like so good. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. They all have these really great duochromes. Each one of them has two duochromes in it. That's so good. And one of the things that somebody pointed out for me that she can never just get enough depth 
they're just not quite dark enough. And honestly, I agree with that. And ever since we had this conversation, I can't un unthink it, but I love these palettes so much. I love Jolie Beauty. The themes are amazing. The color stories are amazing. And the, the quality is good. They're just not quite as pigmented as I think other shadows are. And ever since she said that, but I will definitely use these again, so. This is the Queen of Hearts palette and I thought about decluttering this and then I just like realized like some of the shimmers in this are so fucking good. I mean, obviously, obviously they're good. Notoriously Morbid shimmers are always good and they always have such a different, um, a, like uh, such a variety of textures and colors. This is the Love Tahiti palette. This isn't going anywhere. I love this fucking palette. This is the Carnival XL Pro. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of it. Mm, I might change my mind. I'll put that in a maybe pile. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette and honestly, I've used this recently. I love the color story. The quality is so good. Like it's not going anywhere. And this is my Morphe Such a Gem palette. And I actually recently used this in a video to make sure that the colors were still good and they are. This is a great color story. The quality of the shadows is amazing. Sorry, these are a little bit mucked up but I already went through them and then fucking realized that my memory had run out. I don't know if I actually put the... This is the Vitality palette. I'm not getting rid of this. I love it. I love the color story. I don't know if I'll reach for it again, but I will try. This is the All I Ever Wanted. Not going anywhere. This is the All I Ever Wanted 2. These two palettes are go-to palettes for me whenever I'm creating my own look with my own like choice of mattes and stuff like that. This is the Not Normal palette, and although this isn't really my color story, I love, the, I love this palette. I love the color story. I love the theme. I love everything about it, so I probably will use it again. Um, this is the Leather and Lace. I love this palette. The shimmers in this are so good. They're like that dull formula, but they're they're shifty and they're cute. Like, they're kind of a surprise. There's one that's like goldy green to pink. There's one that's orange to green. And then this raspberry, the raspberry one is like a pink to golden copper. So good. I really wanted to be more better about this. This is the Lure palette. It's not going anywhere. Love it. Here's the Dead of Night palette, and honestly, I just kind of weighed this up with the Into the Night palette, or In the Dark palette, and I'm going to keep this as a companion palette for the other one, just because it really has the depth in it. I don't know if I cut off, but this is the Mothman palette. This one's not going anywhere. Honestly, I feel like between Unearthly and Notoriously Morbid, like anything I could ever want in a shimmer formula or any color that I could ever want, so... It's difficult for me to get rid of a Notoriously Morbid palette, even if I don't prefer the color story so much. They have these individual, a, a bunch, like not just one or two, like several individual shadows that shift in such cool ways that like it's hard to get rid of any of them because I know I'm going to reach for one of those shadows. This is the Fairy Lights palette, and this is by Saints Angel Sinners, and I actually haven't used this yet, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Spirit of Sleepy Hollow. You guys know I'm fucking nuts about this palette right now. This is the Summertime Sadness palette. It's not going anywhere. Sorceress Smoke, one of my favorites, period, as of like right now. And this is the Fall Magic, which is actually one of my favorites. This is the Baby Girl Stack by Melt Cosmetics. Color story looks like this. This is like one of my favorite Melt palettes of all time. Sorry, I'm standing there with my cleavage hanging out. These are my... Adept Cosmetics, they're not going anywhere. This is the Nocturnal palette and I thought about decluttering this, but not yet. I'm gonna try to use it again. This is the Mary Jane palette, not going anywhere. Adept is special. This is the Ace Fute Paradise Fallen. It's not going anywhere yet. When I get that, the new Dreamer palette, it's probably gonna get decluttered. This is the Blossom Passion. I'm getting rid of this. I'm never gonna use it. I love the color story. It's great. I'm not gonna use it. This is the Eclipse of Sun palette and I actually have used this recently. I love this palette so much. This is the Sakura palette by Violet Voss. I'm getting rid of that. It doesn't have enough dimension. This is the Venus XL. I'm not getting rid of that just because you, I, I don't have a dupable color story for that. And it's kind of a go-to palette for me. I thought about getting rid of my Beetlejuice palette, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, you guys would probably fucking have my hide for that. This is the Get Groovy palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. The shimmers in this are so fucking good. It's insane. Like, no. This is the Night of the Vivid Dead. I'm not getting rid of this. This is a really great palette. The color story is not, it's definitely not a standalone palette, but the shimmers in it are such a treat. Okay, this is the Subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm getting rid of this. 
This is the Norvina palette. I'm getting rid of this. I love both these color stories. I just, I won't use them. These are the Scooby-Doo palettes by Glamlight. They're literally the only Glamlight palettes I've ever gotten that I actually really love and have not decluttered. These are the Sweet Shop palettes by BH Cosmetics. Super special. Love the color stories. There's not enough, uh, there's not enough depth in any of these but it, I don't fucking give a shit. The color stories are all amazing. They're kind of hard to get, rare, maybe even impossible. And I love the shimmers. They're so good. BH outdid themselves on this. It would have been cool if they could have just raised their prices a little bit and continued to make like quality shit like that. Okay, this is the recently deceased palette by Melt Cosmetics. And uh, honestly, you guys know I'm kind of going through a thing with Melt. But look at this color right here, little accident. Love it. I can't get rid of this. I don't know who the fuck I was kidding, thinking I was going to get rid of my Beetlejuice palette. Stupid. This is the waiting room palette. I'm not getting rid of this. I actually do use this. And it's actually, it's funny because this was the one that took forever to sell out. And this is the one that's actually like really usable for me. These are the Stack em Up palettes by P. Louise. And actually, these are some of my favorites of all time. I actually decluttered this orange one re like my, in my last declutter and then took it back when I got all fucking orange crazy lately. These are some of the best palettes, man. For fuck's sake, they're so good. Love them. This is my Carnival palette. I'm getting rid of this one. What I really want to do is get rid of both of these Carnival palettes and then get the Carnival remastered because it has, it's like the mix, the compilation of both of them. I don't know if you guys knew that. This is the Strawberry Moon palette by Ansley Ray and this is one of my favorites. It's not going anywhere. This is the Don't Be Jelly palette by, or the remastered. So fucking good. I'm not going to swatch all my unearthly, I know I already told you this, but I'm not going to do a bunch of swatches with my unearthly shadows because I'm going to do a swatch party video, but this is my Midwinter Dreams palette. Fucking the textures and the differences in these shimmers are so good. Like the shimmers in these palettes are fucking to die for. You know what? My friend just told me that she fucking accidentally broke all of her sigil inspired shadows. Mm, I think I'm going to give these to her. I'm getting rid of both of my sigils. I'm going to give them, gift them to my friend Tanya. They're her favorites. This is the chinchilla. I know I already showed you it, but I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to gift it to her. And this is my Call of the Mist palette. Love it. I love the color story. It's really good, but honestly, I'm never going to use it. And she will, and she'll love it. I don't know if she will, actually. She just told me she has 500 palettes. There's no fucking way she's using that shit, but I don't really give a fuck. That's not my problem. <laughs> Um, this is the Kaleidos palette and this, although this does not have enough depth for me, I love it so much. It's not going anywhere. It's a little treasure. This is the She's in Parties palette. I'm keeping this. This is the Gemini and I thought about decluttering it. It looks like this. This is the Millennial Pinks palette. I love this palette. It's a go-to for me. This is the Vita palette. I'm getting rid of this. I'm never going to wear it. This is the Muerte palette. You guys know I'll keep wearing this and, and fucking keep complaining about it. But honestly, the look I created the last time was really fucking pretty. This is the Gemini 2 palette and I honestly feel like I could declutter this um, now that I have the Fall Magic palette, but I'm not going to. Um, this is the Planet Spirit palette. I'm not going to declutter this. I love it. This is the Lunar Lavender palette. I'm not going to declutter this. I love it, even though it doesn't fucking perform that well. This is the Sashimi City palette and I'm not getting rid of this. It's one of my favorite neutral palettes. This is the turquoise palette, and honestly, I'm going to use this. I still haven't ever used it. You guys know these shimmers are fucking beautiful. And then this is the astro pink, and I thought about decluttering this, but I'm not going to quite yet. Actually, should I? God, this blue. It's a blue to purple shift. It's like the old Dosa colors. Actually, I am going to declutter these two. I'm never going to use them, for real. This is the Erd palette, and honestly, I feel like I could get this from an unearthly palette. I'm getting rid of that. And then this is the Elva 2, and this I got from Christine, and this is another neutral palette that I love. I'm not getting rid of that. This is the Venus Immortalis palette, and I'm getting rid of this, even though I love it. It's actually one of my highest viewed videos of all time it was with this palette, but I'm never going to use it. And honestly, you guys know I hate getting rid of a palette that's like a vampire palette, but I'm never going to use it again, I swear. This is the Venus, the OG original. I'm getting rid of that because I'm keeping the XL. And then this is the Venus 3. I'm not getting rid of this. This is one of my 
go-tos. Okay, it's funny. I was going to get rid of the weirdos, but then I looked at it and was like, fuck that. This is a badass palette. I'm going to do a Christmas look with it. This is like my kind of Christmas, Christmas palette. And dude, the shimmers in this are fucking really, really good. And I was going to get rid of it because that one color, Glamour, is like all fuckery. But I think I'm actually going to actually message Amanda and see if I can get that replaced because I really, I really do like this palette. And... Oh, the shimmers. Quit it. You can't even see them. Okay. This is like a, this dark one is like a red to green to black. It's so great. It's going to be perfect for my uh, Christmas look. Plus the color story is like, this is a perfect, I know it was a Halloween release, I think, but it's a perfect Christmas palette. This is the season of the witch. I can't get rid of any of these and I wish that I could. This is the spring. This is the fall. This is the path of the dark side. This is so good. This is the path of the light side. And honestly, this was a gift from somebody. Uh, it's gonna make it one more time. This is Blood and Daffodils and it's really been up my alley with the orange to green. And I almost used it recently, but I didn't. This is the new Rusted Essence Volume 2. And this is the Madame Violet. I can't get rid of this. This is like one of my favorite color stories. This is the Pretty Poison palette and I actually thought about decluttering it and then I did this. Because every time I swatch into this palette, look at this shadow right here. Oh my God, no, quit it. I can't believe I was thinking of that. I am an idiot. I thought, because every time I try to swatch this palette, it's like this color has hard pan and they tell you don't swatch these, use a brush to swatch notoriously morbid shadows but I went like this I put some glitter glue down to even see because I thought this shadow had hard pan like so much that it didn't work anymore and it didn't so this is this color right here and honestly this is like something to scream about right so I just used a brush and put it on glitter primer just because I wanted to see if it even still worked anymore because every time I try to swatch it with my fingers it doesn't fucking swatch at all. The swatches are so shit that I thought that it didn't work anymore but it absolutely works and it's so fucking pretty and it's like super shifty from purple to green to blue. It's like that like dragon it's a dragon. Like the look I did with it looked like a dragon. And honestly, I remember how much I loved it. But every time I try to swatch it, it totally swatches like trash. But look at this one too. So, and honestly, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time came with this collection. So I, it's not going anywhere. Okay, this is the Elysian palette and I'm decluttering this. I kept it for that one green shadow, but honestly, I never use it and I'm not going to, so fuck it. This is the Remastered Don't Be Jelly and honestly love this fucking palette. This is the Bog Witch and you guys know I will jizz right now in my pants. This is the Grind palette by Unearthly and I love this color story. It reminds me a lot of the Baby Girl stack, only a little bit more orange. Plus this shadow right here is so pretty. Actually, all of these are really pretty. And honestly, I, I think that this would go really well with that Blood and Daffodils palette. Okay, I decluttered this palette like recently and then I was gonna do a video of all my like palettes for moons for like full moon videos. And I, so I, came, I went and took it back. And honestly, I used this for my uh, Uranus look for the full moon in Aquarius and I just took it back. This is the Moon Fall palette and honestly I'm only keeping it to do moon videos with. This is the freak I'm, it's freaking bats palette and I'm only keeping it to use with the Moon Fall palette. This is the Lore palette. I love this palette. I literally just did a look with it recently that looked exactly like the look I did with the Muerte palette that I posted on my Instagram. This is the Fairy Frolic palette. I love this palette. It is so good. Like I can't imagine the remastered version being better. This is my Mama M -M Mitchell's Where the Mangoes palette. And honestly, I this is a close to a declutter, but not yet. This is the Elements of Evil palette that I just got. I haven't used it. I'm going to film with it here shortly. And these are my other two Sugar Drizzle palettes that I got from Tanya. I got all three of those from Tanya. I just filmed this look with these palettes. And that's all. That's all of my palettes. So let me count how many I got rid of. This was actually pretty brutal. I got rid of quite a bit. So hold please. So I decluttered this. I hope I don't drop this. This. And this. 
I decluttered 26 pallets, so. What's up? Sorry. We're going to the game. Okay, love you. Bye. Have fun. That's all there is. I wish I could have done better, but I just couldn't. Next time. I'll be sure to post a picture of what my shelf looks like once I have it all organized right here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this video or if you just like my sparkling personality, my boy charm, and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my god, she's so pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel, then go check out my Patreon because I don't hold anything back on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me, and I totally appreciate you. Later. <laughs>